Uh, welcome to uh, Potpourri uh, Part 4. Uh, Potpourri Videos Part 4. Uh, here, here's a project uh, work on right now, and I'm uh, talking about grading. That's all I'm going to talk about on this one right here. And quite frankly, I think the grading plan worked out pretty good on this, but I wanted to show you some things that really affected uh, what uh, what happened. And, and I did a, another grading plan recently and showed you how I dealt, dealt my, with, with my grading plans. But I, I just want to show you some subtle little nuances that change, do some big changes. Now look at this, this jiggity jaggedy over here. I don't know why that's there. But he, here's something, and and uh, on the other video I talked about this part right here. And let me see if I can figure it out. Right, I think it's this. Oh, that, okay, that's a train region. Okay, now here's a question: Should I interpolate it tangent to edge or not? Uh, I didn't in this case, and I don't have a hard and fast rule on this. It's just you try one, try the other, which whichever one works better. But watch what happens if I interpolate this to the edge. This is really going to screw up the bank on the that goes down to the driveway, I think. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> I, swear to God, I, I swear, I swear, well, one time I had this thing and, and I was getting some really wild jiggity jaggedies right here. I, it's a mystery to me. I, sw I swear it's a mystery to me. It is a mystery to me. But actually, but but look look at this stuff here. Look, look you can see you can see how some really funny things happen. You can really, and and, it, and last time it didn't affect that. It affected something else. And you can see these these holes right here. Look look over here. The holes. You can see the, the topo lines. So obviously that wasn't the thing to do. You, uh, I don't want to interpolate. <laughs> I swear, man, it was last time. It was just completely different. It was just it, it's inconsistent to say the least. Now it should be fixed. Yeah, see it's it, I don't have that I don't have those big holes right there. And another thing on this stuff here, I'll, I'll just tell you that uh uh sometimes when I open this this particular file up, I get I get some really look look back there, see the really sharp uh, some really screwy things over there. So if I build if I build the terrain, even though it's up to date, it says it's up to date, watch what happens. It'll flatten out quite a bit. I think it'll flatten that right back in here. And then it didn't. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I, I swear. Hey, these, these terrains are really tricky. Some, I swear, sometimes that's been great and sometimes it hadn't. Now I want to see, see how, see, this, see these things over here? What's what's causing that right there? I, I know it's not that important, but uh, if you know how I do my uh, that right there is a, a terrain break. I'm gonna change that terrain break and and try it. Just try to straighten it out and see what happens. See if that that little thing right there affected this. Yep, yep. See, it just it, it fixed it. That 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 you, you see on the right hand side. You, I, do you see what, what just happened? It fixed it. I, I don't know. I, I mean, sometimes I I, I want to do that little g that little break in the terrain break, and sometimes I don't. I, it seems like. Anyway, that's that's not bad. I think. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what what's what's my. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to pour some concrete around there. Now, why is that doing that? I don't know. Oh. I think I know. That is my. Oh, okay. I, I I bet I know how to fix that. Watch this. Three, break. I'm going to fix my terrain region, terrain elevation region. I'm going to force it to be fixed. Force it to be flat. That's what I'm going to do. Watch this. Now, I was talking to my son. He he uses Revit. And we, we, we exchange information once in a while. And he says, I wish I had your terrain tools because I can't do blah, blah, blah. I was watching him do his, his stuff the other day. I actually have him, look at this, I actually got him doing a little bit of uh, videos now for his Revit, because I think it's going to help him in other ways, actually. Uh, see that? See that? I mean, uh, I, I like this slope down, like it's sloping down. Maybe I should not make this quite as drastic of a slope, but it really isn't. Uh, actually, site conditions aren't quite like that. I'm going to just see if that sort of fixes it. 
Yeah, see, uh, just that little thing right there fixed fixed that edge right there. And that's not bad now, right? I mean, it's that's looking pretty good. I got to tell you, this this train looks pretty good. Uh, and this is really probably the way it's built. I mean, back in here, I got a little bit of a problem right there with that thing, that thing right there, and that might be because I have a break in the. You know, I, I, I in my last video I said, well, sometimes you like that little. Where is it? Oh, right there. This is a terrain break. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with my terrain break. See if I can make this look better. Tab. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, tab. There it is, right there. I'm gonna see if I can straighten this out. Let's see what happens with that thing. Oh, uh, now it's got really got messy. Now I'm going to try to get rid of it. You look on the right-hand side, you see that really break in the terrain? So, so you think it should be straight? You think it should be like this? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see, it, it, it wants to... It wants to... How about if I pull it right to there? You think that's going to fix it? You can see the topo lines that are messed up right there, right? Now, it's still it's still breaking through my wall for some reason. Suppose I pull it back even further. So it doesn't... Oh, now it's... You know, I, I, I just don't... I don't quite... You just got to play with it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe there's someone out there that knows a lot more about this than I do and can fix it better. And it's interesting that I have it. I have it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, suppose I pull it back like this. You think that's going to make a difference? You know, uh, the, the another angle? I don't know. Oh, wow. What am I missing here? See, it depends upon the, the, the sharpness of that angle of that thing. Now, that's much better, but there's still a little bit of a tweak in there. It's still kind of bleeding through there for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, that's my dad. I'll call him back in a second. Oh, hold on. Can I call you right back? I'll call you right back. Bye. Um... Where's my terrain uh, tab there? Maybe, maybe this thing. Maybe I just do a little bit of. Watch this. Pull this over just a little bit, and maybe that's going to sort of fix it. Not really. Hey, don't watch. This is this is stupid stuff. I know. It's still not very good, is it? Oh, because my train break in running far, uh, far enough down there. You think? Let me just try to pull this train break. Out here, I don't. I, let's stop it. I got to stop this. Oh, there. That's better. Well, I mean, it's it's better in some respect. I mean, I like the I like the way it slopes down like this. But now it's popping through over here. Anyway, obviously you could oh and now and now oh and and look at all this mess over here now what what caused all this mess over here was it was it this little tweak that i made over here at the, the other end you got what i'm saying this this little tweak right here you think that you, i i didn't notice when that when that screwed up watch this let's see if it fixes that that all that stuff by my wall Yep, <laughs> there you go. You see how that thing affected it, a lot of stuff?
timer done. I, 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 I bored myself and you guys enough already. And then, and this also might be a function of uh, the number of triangles or the triangulation or the uh, softness and stuff. In fact, well, I still messed up over there. Anyway, I, I'm just throwing that out there for you. Just some, some different little, what I thought was really interesting was, this, stop it, was, was that retaining wall. And, and if you do this with the retaining walls, I don't know how you manipulate it. Look, for, for the most part, I'm not complaining too much about it. I, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's really, really that bad. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is bad. No, no. See, that's that's not bad. That's not. That's still it's still smooth over here for some reason. I don't know. Remember that one time it was all screwed up. If I pull it back like this. Yeah, now I, ooh, look at this. Look at this right over here. And and that influence line, see the transition distance is one inch? I don't know, make, make it 120? I don't, I don't know how that... If, I'm not going to get into that because I, I, I don't have the answer. And that affected the... That, that thing right there affected the transition. If I change it back to one, I, I don't know. I mean... Yeah, see, and so uh, you can see on the right-hand side how it's really affecting it. And if I pull it back like this, that's probably not going to affect. Uh, I mean, it's going to really smooth out my transition by the wall. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's just, this is all I'm messing with right now. That's all I'm messing with. Now, you think Chief would give us a, a video on... Uh, now it's now you see how how that angle really affected. You get the idea. Uh, I, that's it. Uh, end of part four. I'm I'm done. 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 Done.